Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. Well, there's a new film, Making the Rounds, that tells the story of a special garden bringing residents together in the Pilsen neighborhood. It's called Nuestra Herencia Senior Legacy Project at El Paseo Community Garden, which started as a labor of love. It tells the story of what this garden means to the community through the eyes of the seniors who maintain it. And here to talk to us a little bit more about it are Aaron Babin, director of the film, and Michael Sullivan, the cinema photographer welcome to the both of you this is such an exciting project thanks so much for having us yeah, all right thank you. so you've got to tell me how the idea even came up how do you go from gardening to now creating a documentary right absolutely so Michael and I joined El Paseo Community Garden in 2015 we've been part of that community you know one of the seniors there Carlos has been hiding my cucumbers <laughs> for me to make sure no one else takes them um, since then and when the pandemic hit the seniors were really impacted there were a a lot of opportunities and programs that they normally had that they no longer had and we were thinking about what an integral piece of our community they were and Paula Acevedo who's one of the co-directors of El Paseo approached us and said hey you know we've been thinking about doing some sort of archival project telling these senior stories and that is what set off the whole project okay so you've gotten to meet uh, it's 10 seniors that you're basically highlighting right. in the film what are some of the messages that they're they want to make clear as part of the the movie like what are some of the things that they're talking about sure they're covering a lot of different themes but the main thing is this connection with immigration and migration and um, you know they come from all over the you know Latin America you know Colombia Honduras uh, several people from Mexico we also have a woman from New York she was born in New York but raised in Puerto Rico and so it's this this story of migrants coming here moving to chicago and making a life here and so it's really this this beautiful portrait of a, a group of people who are connected because of the garden but they have so much in common with yeah. other parts of their life how much did they talk about sort of how life has changed how the immigrant story has changed from maybe the time that they came here decades ago to now kind of did they go through through some of those struggles and some of those things that they faced through the years absolutely and I think a lot of things have changed obviously Chicago has changed a lot the Pilsen mm -hmm. neighborhood has changed a lot and we were really focusing on their stories of coming here and so while these are seven individuals stories they're really so many people's stories and that's like the feedback we've been getting more and more is that you know these are the stories of all immigrants across all different cultures and it's just really something that like shows us we're all more the same than we are different you walk me through some of these videos that we're showing right now so this is the garden this is our garden and so do you um, get video or footage of them as they're going through the garden talking about why they planted certain things why those things might be important to them from the country that they're from Yes, um, several people talk about, you know, just that, the plants that they have, they remind them of growing up and, you know, their families that maybe worked on farms in Mexico or, you know, in Honduras and connecting to that part of their history, reminding them of their youth before they came to Chicago, but also then sharing. And a, a huge, you know, thing for all of these people is that they get to grow stuff and then share it with their neighbors. Sure, it's such a, a good family connection, right? It brings so many families together. I've got to imagine it's so exciting for these folks to then see sort of their story on the big screen because you actually made an event of it. I think the National Museum of Mexican Art showcased some of the films. Absolutely, so we premiered this project at the National Museum of Mexican Art mm -hmm. and we had a red carpet, all the seniors came in a limo, it was a whole event and... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, are there are stories that you feel, and, and I don't know if you can speak to this, you kind of feel that connection or that people are really connecting to. Um, talk to me about maybe a few of them that perhaps struck you as you're kind of telling their story and interviewing them. What are some of the things that they mentioned? Absolutely. So the way I really think of it as the seven short films, one of our guiding lights when putting them together is that each film has a theme, right? So our seven themes are friendship, family, love, ancestors, faith, art, and music. And when we really think about it, those seven things are like the pillars of what makes up a community. And so I think we revisit those themes a lot when we're looking at these projects. I love that. Okay, so then you've got to tell me what you're hoping to do with this long term. I assume, you know, they're going to be kept there in the Pilsen community, but long term, what would you like to see? Are you looking to do maybe other projects like this? Sure. This project is going to be, is going to be, going to become a 
a series of community screenings next year. In the spring and summer, we're going to do free community screenings so we can share it with everyone. And then after that, it's going to live online. And we're still trying to find a home for it, but that's the main goal of it. And of course, we'd love to continue telling more Pilsen stories. We've been working in Pilsen for the last eight or nine years. And so it's it's not just a job for us to, to do documentaries. It's also like these are our neighbors, this is our community, so we want to help tell those stories. It's such a rich neighborhood, rich community, and they've got so many stories to tell that I'm glad you guys are there to document all of it, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to say, so our website is PilsonStories.com. There you can find out all about our premiere and the project itself. Mm -hmm. You can check out a story map, which is a really cool interactive piece of the project that Yaritza Guillen made. So is that just where these folks are from? That's yeah, good. okay. Yeah, it tells a little bit more detail of their story, where they're from, um, the route that they took to get here. Okay. And I also just want to thank Paula Acevedo and Tamara Becerra Valdez, who are our other team members on this project, and we couldn't have done it without all of us. All right. <laughs> Tell me the website one more time if people want to see it. PilsenStories.com. Nice. That's P-I-L-S-E-N-S-T-O-R-I-E-S.com. Look at that. Nuestra herencia looks great. Thank you, and congratulations, and good luck with your other projects that are coming up. Thank you cool. so much. Thank all right. You. We hope to see you back.